Hey, welcome back. We've been talking through some major ideas in a forces unit for physics courses like AP physics, physics, physical science courses. And there is a special force that is really crucial for a lot of things called the normal force. I think at first glance, the normal force has a weird name for a lot of students. What do you mean normal? Like, are you talking about a setting on a dryer? Or are you talking about describing something that's regular? And the answer is no, that's not what we mean by a normal force here. We don't mean those kinds of things. We mean normal in the sense that it is a force that is at a right angle to something. And so this is the other meaning of the word normal in terms of physics or math. It literally means perpendicular, so think of it as a perpendicular force. There's more to it than that, but just at the outset, we're talking about a perpendicular force to a surface involved. Alright, and so we can say normal means perpendicular to, but what are we talking about exactly? The normal force is the reaction force, or the component of the reaction force, that is perpendicular to the surface involved. That definition probably doesn't help you right now. So I'm going to explain through examples, and then eventually I think that definition will make sense. So let's imagine a laptop sitting on a desk. Let's draw the free body diagram for it. So what's one force operating on this laptop? I always tell my students, when in doubt, and I ask a question like that, just say gravity, because you're going to be correct, basically, unless the object is randomly out in space. But 99% of the time, if you don't know what to say in terms of what forces are operating here, just start with gravity, and that's true here. So gravity is going to be pulling down on the laptop, and the laptop's on the surface, on a desk. And because the laptop is pushing on the desk, the desk is pushing back on the laptop. If you don't believe me, stop what you're doing right now and push down on the desk that's in front of you, or down really hard on a solid object, and you will feel that solid object push back on you with exactly the same amount of force. That's Newton's third law. We've gone over that. Talking about Newton's laws, I'll put a link up in the upper right in case you need to learn more about Newton's laws. But yeah, we can say that there is a force going down here, a force due to gravity pulling it down, operating on the object, and then the reaction force from the surface pushing back on that object. So remember, free body diagrams just analyze forces on that object, not from that object. Okay, and most students get that. A lot of students fall into the trap where they like to look for patterns and they will say something like, well then the force due to gravity is always equal and opposite to the normal force. That is absolutely not true. And let me give you an example so you can think about why that's not true. So let's say we have an object that's on a ramp now. Maybe someone has a moving van and they're moving boxes up a moving van or something. And what we're going to say is gravity pulls straight down. Gravity doesn't care if something's on a ramp, it just always pulls straight down. And actually the reaction force, the actual reaction force to gravity is not the normal. It's going to be pointing straight up opposite the direction of the force due to gravity. Whereas the normal force is going to be perpendicular to the surface. The normal force in this case is a component of that reaction force. So this is going to be your normal force right over here, not the actual reaction force. So when I said the normal is the reaction force or component of the reaction force that's perpendicular to the surface, in this case we're talking about a component of that reaction force right here. This component is perpendicular to the surface involved, and that's what we mean by the normal force. And I will say that we don't normally draw all of the stuff that's been drawn in gray here. We would typically draw something like this. But only draw this if you really understand this. I really think a beginning physics student should think about this really hard. If you have any questions, let me know. But just to be clear, this force is equal and opposite to this force pushing back. And that is not the normal force. This is the normal force right here because that is the reaction force component that is perpendicular to the surface involved. And you could say, why do we need this? This sounds rather random. And I would agree, if you don't know where we're going with this, it just seems like a random force. And the answer is, the normal force is used in friction equations that we are going to be learning about. And so the normal force actually plays a pretty important role in studying and understanding how forces work. And so just to summarize, I want to say the normal force is not always equal and opposite to the force due to gravity. That's a major misconception in physics. Note in the left example, that is true. But for the ramp examples and other examples we'll need to look at, that is not the case. 
So I hope this has been helpful. I try to make these quick and to the point. If you have any comments, throw one down below and stick around for the next lesson. Hope you have a great day.